Uh, so where's Emacabolios now? I hear it's gone global. Uh, yeah, we're global. We're uh, we're we're local. Mm -hmm. We're we're in Boston and we're in the Cape. We're in New York, New Jersey, uh, Florida, Illinois, and then we're in uh, in a bunch of countries in Asia. We're in Korea, China, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Philippines. Hmm. Uh, Couple more, but I can't remember. Hong Kong, Thai, uh -huh. Thailand, we're in Thailand. What gave you the right. idea, the impetus to expand into Asia? Uh, common sense, right? Uh -huh. So in Asia, you have enormous population. Uh -huh. You have uh, you have in Southeast Asia where we are, you have warm weather all year round. Uh -huh. And you have not a lot of ice cream, uh, American ice cream. Basically, it's Haagen Dazs, mm -hmm. and now more Ben and Jerry's. Mm -hmm. right. So, if you uh, if you're in the ice cream business, what are you looking for? You're looking for warm weather. Mm -hmm. You're looking for a lot of people, and and you're looking for not too much competition, right? Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a no-brainer. And that's what happened. So what were some of the challenges in bringing the business over there? Uh, the challenge, you know, the problem is that each country has different culture mm -hmm. and obviously different language. And they have different rules, different laws. And it's uh, a challenge to understand the culture, understand the people, understand the laws so you can actually bring the ice cream in. And uh, <laughs> make the store, keep the roots of the store, but make the store fit into that country. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's a challenge, but it's working pretty well.